Hello everyone, you know what time it is. It is cafecito time, so make sure you stick around. Hello everyone, my name is Veronica. Welcome to my channel, House of Sid, where I make videos on coffee reviews, coffee recipes, coffee adventures, and everything from the wonderful world of coffee, especially our favorite Nespresso. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. I have a ton of videos. I've been doing these videos for the past three years now about coffee, Nespresso, all fun things with our favorite beverage of cafecito. Um, so today I have a new coffee from Nespresso. So we are going to uh, see what it's all about. It is a new Master Origins um, from Nespresso, from the Master Origins Single Origin line. It is from El Salvador, and this is Sweet and Jam. Um, it's been out for a month or two, I believe. I'm a little behind on testing the coffees, but I'm trying to catch up, so make sure you go back. If you haven't watched my previous videos in the past month, I have a lot of new coffees, new capsules, you know, fun stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, El Salvador, it is, like I said, master origin, single origin coffee, um, intensity five, so not super intense. It is $13.50 for the box, uh, $1.35 per capsule. Let's read what it says here. I'm reading from my iPad, so that's why I look down. Uh, this mild coffee displays sweet biscuit, fruity jam, and cereal notes with a mild low bitterness. So bitterness is one, acidity is four because of the fruit, it's a little more acidic. Roast level two, body two. And this is a mug size, 7.77 .7 ounces, eight ounces of coffee, and the notes are fruity. So. Let's see, this is what the box looks like. You know, your typical Nespresso box. It's got like some little dudes there in the coffee um, mountains, I guess is where they grow it. Okay, this is an intensity level five. Uh, grown under shade trees, these treasure coffee varieties find the ideal terrier nestled beside active volcanoes, okay? Delivering a mild cup with a sweet biscuit and fruity notes. Red honey processing a red honey processing a portion of the beans involves carefully adjusting the amount of sweet pulp left on the dying cherry, complementing this arabica blend. Um, okay, through its AAA program, an espresso works closely with the farmers on the journey to sustainable quality coffee production, helping protect the environment and how empower the communities okay so let's open it up let's open it up and see what it looks like so as we know usually this color here will match the capsule this is what it looks like and the master origins usually have the name here if you could see there el salvador el salvador um that's what it looks like. Okay, let's brew it. Let's see what this is all about. Um, the Master Origins have been some of my favorites from Nespresso. Uh, my favorite of all time has been the Mexico from the Master Origins line. I like the Colombia as well and the Costa Rica. So now let's see if Salvador will be on our faves list too. I'm still, I'm still learning how to use this machine. Sometimes I don't close it all the way down. So let me know if you have jumped on the virtual pop machine bandwagon like I did. And honestly, I bought it so I can brew all the sizes because I really wanted to try the Alto coffees, the cold brew coffees. If you haven't watched my video on the Alto extra large coffees and the cold brew, I'll link them below and up here and make sure you go back and watch them. Let me know if you have a virtual next machine and if you're able to try all the new coffee sizes. Okay, so it's going to be fruity. 
And this one is making a lot of crema. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the machine or the capsule. So I think I'm gonna do a test because I've noticed some of them make more crema with this machine. So I'm going to do, let me know if you wanna see that video, a side-by-side -side capsule, same capsule brewed on the different machines and see if there's a difference. That might be interesting. Okay. So here it is. Look at that. Look, look at how much crema that makes. Uh, I don't think my Virto Plus made that much crema, but we shall see how it tastes. Okay, so let's mix it up. Okay, I think it's too much creme. I can't, I can't really taste it, so I'm gonna remove some of it. Okay, so I removed a lot of the crema. That's that's better. Okay. It's it says the notes are fruity, but I don't really smell or taste fruitiness. What intensity is this again? Intensity five, so it's kind of medium. I like it. I think I get a little bit more biscuit and cereal notes than fruity notes, which is good because I tend to like the biscuit and cereal notes more than the fruity coffee notes, which are okay. There's some fruity ones that I like, some that are a little too fruity that I'm just like, I'll pass, thank you. Okay, let's give it a try with our creamer, half and half. You know, put in your creamer of choice. Okay. Doesn't, it doesn't really give us like information on how to make it. It's just coffee. It's good. I like it. It's, it's not too strong, not too bold, not too light, not too fruity. It's kind of pretty well balanced, I would say. Um, I like, I like El Salvador actually. It might, it might just be on my top list of coffees. Um, I don't know if this is a limited edition. Let's see. Mm, nope, it doesn't say limited edition. So let me know if you guys have tried El Salvador, if you are interested in trying El Salvador. It's pretty good. Um, I still like Mexico the best, but I would have to say that this comes a close second. Not, I was kind of worried when I saw the fruity jam, but I don't really get fruitiness, which is okay. I, I'm not complaining that I want more fruitiness, but I like it. It's, it's a good balance, medium type coffee. It kind of reminds me like the Melosio. It's like not too light, not too dark, not too bitter. Um, um, it is a little acidic because of the fruit, but it, doesn't it doesn't it doesn't come through so i think this is actually really good definitely give it a try if you like the single origin coffees you do taste a difference compared to the other types of coffees so once again let me know in the comments what you think if you are um, buying this one or not if you have already tried it I need to know we need to discuss in the comments let me know thanks guys for watching make sure you're subscribed because we're going to do a giveaway for a Nespresso machine so you have to be subscribed turn notifications so you know when our videos are coming 
I'm trying to get more on schedule and do uploads on Sunday mornings. And yeah, that's it. If you like my videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up, share with your other coffee loving friends, and I hope you are enjoying your cafecito time. Until next time, bye.